What's up, East Coast? Welcome to East Coast After Hours. Today's food review, we are trying a chocolate chip cookie. They call it chocolate chunk cookie from Lidl. Um, if you don't know already, I'm a big fan of Lidl Bakery in terms of uh, grocery store bakeries. I feel like at the current time, it's probably the best grocery store bakery. Um, their croissants are exceptional. The apple turnovers are great. I've actually even tasted something in New York at a kind of fancy place that it tasted so close, except um, it was like three times the price of what um, Lidl offers it for. So if you ever buy a Lidl, definitely check out the croissants and the apple turnovers and their other baked goods as well. I also get the uh, German sourdough bread, but definitely the highlights are the croissants and the uh, apple turnovers. Now, just so you know, um, cookies, at least for me on social media, have been huge the past couple of days, especially crumble and insomnia i've tried insomnia i thought it was okay but i don't know if it was worth the price or the hype um haven't tried crumble yet i'm still trying to time it when the, the flavors are interesting to me so i'm definitely gonna you know see if i can try crumble in the future but for now um i've tried insomnia i've tried the costco cookie which i thought was pretty competitive um very competitive with insomnia in terms of taste and um and value wise it's exceptional value since these days, the typical designer cookie is like $5, while Costco is like two fifty. Now, this one, this one's interesting because this one's $0.80. Cents. I think they average like $1, $1.29, but their pricing at Lidl is very competitive. It fluctuates. Um, this time, this one's, what, I think, $0.89 or $1. Let's just call it $1. So let's give it a try. I did put it in the oven to give it a fighting chance because obviously the what I call the designer cookies like insomnia and uh, crumble try to time it that you get it you know freshly baked and even Costco when you get the cookies heated it's probably not freshly baked but anyway let's give it a try let's see how it goes oh first impressions um as you can see on the outside not as many um, visible chocolate chip um size wise oh here we go chocolate chips right there size wise it's thinner than the um Costco or the you know insomnia cookies so maybe about the same insomnia cookies so thinner not a stick and let's give it a taste the crisp is there because you heat it the chewiness is there the taste is slightly different it's an interesting taste um, the cookie dough has like a I don't know what I like to call like a European take on it because it's not super sweet, the the dough itself. I'm gonna take another bite. Overall it's a delicious cookie. It's on the light side. It doesn't compete with the um Costco cookie, but then again, price wise it, it's a better value, obviously, for a dollar. Well, the other one's two fifty. So it is delicious. I'm gonna consider this light in obviously physical form. And um, you know, the chocolate chips are there. So this one I would consider like a, a light snack, or I guess if you want to cut down on your guilty pleasure of cookies, because once you go at the Costco route. I mean, it's on. The calories are there. I think it's like a thousand, twelve hundred calories. I forgot the, the calorie count. I just remember somebody at Costco commenting about how many calories the cookie had. And I, I still bought it anyway because it was just one of those uh, had to try things. And it was delicious. It was good. It was um, probably, as you can see, the width of this one, probably twice the size or three times the size of this. So, um, what I'm going to say is this if you are looking for a light treat or a, you know, less um, I don't know, decadent cookie maybe go for this one especially if you're in a budget if you're you know you want to get the the whole experience of having a designer cookie you're going to want to go to Costco or Crumble again Crumble I haven't tried but just based on the the tons of videos I've seen definitely designer flavors interesting flavors definitely the thickness looks bigger it's a bigger cookie in my opinion but you know hopefully I'll, I'll get to try some in the future so for now, I'm just going to say this is okay in terms of like a cookie. Um, should you go buy it? Um, 
if you're in the area, definitely pick one up. But definitely pick up the croissants. I'm, I'm a number one fan of the croissants. But um, it's an okay cookie. Um, again, it doesn't compare to the Costco cookie. cookie doesn't compare to Insomnia. So I guess that this is a budget chocolate chip cookie is what I'm going to call it. And uh, let me know what you guys think. Comment below. I know a lot of you people out there are probably, I don't want to make the assumption, but I just, you know, when I see certain cookie places, like I was at Crumble a long, long time ago, but unfortunately I was short on time, so I never got to go inside. I just saw the long line outside, so I was just like, wow, you know, this place must be popular. I've witnessed the same thing in Insomnia, but Insomnia is closer to me, so I've managed to um, get an order and give it a try. So let me know what you guys think. Um, and what, what's the right size of a cookie? Because I've even had a cookie at Dominic Ansel, and that was really good as well. But at the time, I thought it was expensive, but with inflation and everything, consider you know it's made by like a famous French baker. I guess it was worth it. Now, now that I think about it. But anyway, comment below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Comment below what your favorite cookie is. Is it Crumble? Is it Insomnia? I'm sure there's others out there. Let me know. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.